When the very first Sunreef 74 was launched back in 2002, brand founder Francis Lapp not only created the first ocean-going luxury catamaran with a flybridge, he also put the historic Baltic city on the yachting map. And now he's doing it all over again. Not in Europe, not in Turkey, nor even in Asia, but in what you might think of as another unlikely location, Dubai. And as Supiot Times is here for the Gulf Supiot Summit, we thought we'd find out why Sun Reef has decided to set up a second base of operations here in the Gulf. So Francis, tell me in your own words, why you decided to move here and set up business here? Yes, okay. Why in Dubai? Why is nice weather? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's hot. hot yes. <laughs> it's different than in Poland. No, why? Uh, I think Dubai is the right place now to make good business also. Uh, for the shipyard, we are close to Oceania, this Thailand, uh, China also market, uh, all the Middle East, uh, together with Saudi Arabia. We have now, I think we sold uh, eight eight boat from 1st January in the region. Uh, I think the business is growing. Also, we find good people here for, for different country on the same place to expand our vision of the company. And how do you divide um, the, the logistics? Uh, what happens in Dubai and what happens in Poland? Yes, okay, in po Poland, all this model from 60 to 100 uh, and more, 50 meters also, uh, will be built in Poland. Here we start with the 55 feet, uh, the new Supreme 70, after it's coming the new Supreme 80, 85, and all the new models in power more we will do in Dubai. Since 2018, when Sunreef revamped its entire range, the brand has evolved in leaps and bounds. In 2021, it opened a new purpose-built facility in Poland for Supiot construction. And making her debut at the 2022 Autumn Boat Shows was the Sunreef 80 Eco, a yacht that can run on renewable energy from sun, water and wind alone. So now we're situated in Palm West Marina. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful community with boats. So here there will be a new office for Sunreef Yachts. Um, normally when uh, Sunreef Yachts is creating a new model, the whole team is uh, anticipating the needs and demands of clients to create it. But this time the idea is to, um, to evolve into a think tank. So uh, uh, the Sunreef Yachts will have here a team of professionals and talents coming from all over the world uh, where uh, the specialists will sit down together and adopt the 360 degree approach to seek the new ideas and the new uh, uh, creative uh, solutions for future of yachting. Uh, how to make it green, how to make it more sustainable, more responsible. Technology and sustainability are now at the heart of what Sunreef does. This requires intense R&D and just about everything from carbon fiber construction and solar cell technology to hydrogen propulsion is done in-house. And here again, the new office in Dubai will play a central role. So Sunreef decided to install a new office here in the uh, UAE because I think that's a hub right now for uh, everything sustainable or the development uh, that we see uh, today um, in the marine industry, but more generally as well in the, in the Emirates. We can see a lot of focus being put on solar power. They have the world's biggest solar park. It's the, it's the world's largest uh, single site uh, solar plant. Uh, they have the Museum of the Future. So there's a lot of focus on the technologies of the future and we want to be a part of that. With new UAE regulations providing more immigration options for digital nomads, tech startups, inventors and so on, Dubai is now a fertile hub for innovation and technology. And for Sunreef, it provides the perfect environment for investing around $27 million in a brand new state-of-the-art facility in Raz al-Khaimah, about an hour and a half's drive north of Dubai.
We have two shipyards in, in Poland, one placed in the historic shipyard in Gdansk. Uh, there's a state-of-the-art facility, uh, like, like a new shipyard that we have in Gdansk. And right now we're expanding uh, our production capacity into the Emirates. And we're going to have uh, basically a big new shipyard here, uh, which is going to be in Ras al Khaima. And uh, yeah, it's going to start by producing the 55 open sunroof power. That's the new hybrid model that we introduced in, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, so we've just recently presented the model we already signed six of these and uh, yeah they're going to be built here locally in the emirates Uh, the big facility will be open, I think, next September, next October. Why also we start in a smaller facility to learn the people how to work uh, in what way, what we want to have, what product we want to have on the end. Why we start something small, we hire now 20 people, end of December we will have 50 people. I think it's growing all months to 20, 20, 20 people more. To when we have the opening for have 400, 300 to 400 people on the opening, yes. And that new facility will be ready in uh, less than a year's time? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's wow. quickly, I think it's like why also Dubai and not uh, some uh, else country, I say, I'm like Turkey. All is going uh, quickly here. It's not the for opening a company, it's easy. It's, for have a permit for build a shipyard is 45 days. In Poland, we wait six years for have a permission for the first building. Uh, it's, it's different. It's a challenge also, but it's different. There's no doubt that Dubai is ramping up its super yacht infrastructures. And in the first six months of last year, the UAE recorded an 18% increase in the number of high net worth individuals making their home here. Combined with the ongoing strategy of attracting innovative businesses to set up shop in Dubai, and despite the uncertain global economic outlook, this bodes well for Sunreef, which is looking to expand its international market and reach out to potential new clients in the Gulf. Thank you.